Firstly, I want to congratulate you for your appointment as the University of Johannesburg uh, Vice Chancellor and Principal. Of course, the university is ranked second in Africa and second in South Africa. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Dwaba, for this opportunity for me to be interviewed. Uh, and congratulations, you know, for your award and uh, for running such an amazing magazine. And thank you for congratulating me for my uh, for having been appointed as the uh, next vice chancellor and principal of the University of Johannesburg. Thank you, Prof. Now, how does it feel from moving from uh, as a student, alumni? Now, ultimately, AVC. And I want to say this. Yeah. In your uh, presentation last year, in our, our opinion of academic uh, pro, uh, programs last year, yeah. you gave a bit of a background yeah, yeah. of your upbringing up yeah. until where you are now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And ultimately, you said, who knows? Yeah. And it, I reflect now. Yeah. The yeah. who knows is being answered. Yeah. How does it feel? Well, it's amazing, you know. Um, I'll tell you one thing. I always knew that I will be a vice chancellor of a university, but I was not clear about where and when. And silently, I prayed that it be UJ because I'm a UJ man through and through. You know, I joined this institution when it was the Rand Africans University. And I went overseas, I worked at the Max Planck Institute for Social Law and Social Policy in Munich, Germany. And I came back in 2006, you know, and I never left. So really to grow and rise at this wonderful university up to being appointed as a vice chancellor is just amazing. Okay. Part of the UJ community is uh, convocation. Yes. It's made out of alumni, of mm -hmm. course, mm -hmm. current permanent academics and the retired academics. Yeah. What's your take, uh, particularly in their involvement in relation to the university? Yeah, look, the, the convocation and, and alumni of the university are extremely important, you know, for the success of the university. And we've got really wonderful uh, members of the convocation that, um, you know, we, we need to get them more involved in their university. And I would say to them, please, you know, we need you. We need you to mentor our students, to share your skills so that we can have more impactful people out there, you know, especially in this climate of high unemployment. Uh, we need to give our uh, students an opportunity to have a taste of what it is, what, what it is like, you know, to be out there uh, doing vacation work and so on, mentorship. So I would invite members of our convocation to please be uh, more involved, you know, with their alma mater. Thanks, thanks, or Prof. with their university. Yeah. Yes, yes, thanks. Prof, are there any specific programs or, or projects you, you wish to recommend that the new ESCO, you know, we've got, uh, mm -hmm. everything is almost new in, in, the, in the University of Johannesburg, we've right. got the new leadership of ESCO. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any projects or yeah. programs that you think yeah. Yeah. they can adopt in their next three yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, years? Yes. Uh, for me, uh, there's a lot, but there's two that stands out. The first one is really fundraising to support our students, you know. Um, uh, that, that, that would be amazing if they could help with that. And I know they are doing a, a amazing work. You've been traveling with, um, you know, colleagues and, 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 and members of uh, the EXCO, the Convocation, launching affinity groups. So we need to activate those to ensure that if they raise funds, they start to support uh, their, uh, uh, our university. And the, the, the second one, which I think is um, it's, it's extremely important, is, is um, you know, working with um, our students, you know, to, to mentor them, especially uh, in entrepreneurship skills and so on. So we're definitely going to build uh, on that. So it's fundraising, uh, mentorship, just, uh, you know, it's just amazing. Yeah, we well, need thanks, that. Yeah. Thanks. Those are very <coughs> important programs and we'll take note of that. And, you know, UJ's intentions is very clear to reach the global market. Yes. You know, uh, my question to you would be, are there any plans or any plans, mm -hmm. any thought you have mm -hmm. in terms of making sure that mm -hmm. we really reach that global market? Yeah. Um, internationalization is extremely important, you know, you cannot be local, we need to go out there, we need to take UJ to the world, or continue to, to do that, because we are doing that. And we need to bring the world to UJ, you know, um, being it as student exchanges or international students, staff and so on. And there are a number of initiatives in place, Africa by Bus, which is just an amazing project, we are going to build on that. Um, we've got a strong internationalization office, we are going to build on that. 
I need us to do more on the African continent. We tend to fly over the continent and go to Europe, go to North America. I'm not saying that is not important, but we need to also do a lot uh, on, the, on the African continent. The other important point that I would like to make in terms of uh, uh, going global is we are not doing enough in uh, Latin America and we are going to uh, triple our efforts there to ensure that we bring students from Latin America, we bring uh, colleagues from Latin America to come and work with us and also take our students to learn. Yeah. Thanks, thanks Prof. Uh, talking about Africa, <clears throat> I just have to mention as well that uh, recently the, the UJ alumni office has launched yeah. uh, the, the chapter in Zimbabwe. Wow. Yeah. And then yeah. it also launched in, in uh, the US one is yeah. existing. Yeah. And then, particularly in South Africa, we do have the Houghton chapter and the Western Cape one. Yeah. Do we have any country of interest? Yeah. You wish yeah. that we can launch yeah. a, a chapter? Look, I've got many on the African continent, but yeah. the next one, if you don't have, is Ghana. It's Ghana. I sound yeah. a little bit biased because I'm a visiting uh, professor, professor of law yes, at I'm the right. University of Cape Coast at their Faculty of Law. But we've got a lot of students coming from, from Ghana and a great interest there, you know, for people to come and study with us. And it would be nice if the next launch could be in Ghana. In Ghana. And All please right. invite okay. me. We'll don't do so. don't go there without me. <laughs> we'll do so. We'll yeah. do so, this yeah. Year, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. My other question here, uh, let's discuss uh, partnerships and collaborations yes. yes. among the investors of Africa. Yes. And I'm saying so because of uh, UJ sec is a ranked second mm -hmm. in South Africa and second in Africa. But what yeah. are we doing with those that are still battling? Yeah. You know, what, what strategy do we have to make sure that yeah. uh, we, you know, when they say you don't have to grow to, uh, alone, yeah, move yeah. with others. Yeah, no, no, you're right. I mean, um, it, it, that, that African saying is important that if you want to go fast, well, go alone, yeah. go alone. If you want to go far, go with others is important. So, um, I'm sure you know that UJ works closely with other uh, historically disadvantaged universities. If I could do that, if I could say that, apologies. And in, in, in a number of, of programs, for example, in accountancy, we've been supporting uh, some of our uh, peer institutions, you know, that require that kind of support. So we're going to build on that. And another um, example that I will give where, uh, uh, you know, UJ is partnering and working with other institutions is um, our partnership with uh, TUT, uh, Swanee University of Technology. Uh, in the area of the AI Institute. You know, we've got an AI uh, Institute hub here at the University of Johannesburg and there will be another hub launched uh, at TUT. But apart from that, you know, we uh, the other day I was signing a memorandum of agreement where we are going to partner with TUT in terms of um, postdoctoral research fellows, you know, attached to both our institutions. And there are many other opportunities that we're exploring, especially in our um, online programs you know we've got uh, artificial intelligence in the fourth industrial revolution that we have opened up you know to many to students from all over and everybody who wants to do that and it would be nice if we could uh, co-create other open access uh, programs with other institutions in the country and outside of the country thank you prof as we conclude i know the safety of students has been something that is yeah. in your heart yeah yeah so I'll, it would be injustice for me to end this interview yeah. without yeah. having make yeah. any comment about yeah it. yeah look student safety is extremely important you know we are in johannesburg we are encountering you know the challenges that uh, our province is grappling with but we cannot wait you know and say uh, it's not our responsibility. Yes, we do look after the safety of our students on our campuses. A lot of things happen outside of, of, camp, of our campuses. So what I can tell you is that we are going to continue to provide those safe, 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 safe corridors. Uh, it costs us a lot of money, but we cannot stay away from this. You might have seen the op-ed that I wrote uh, late last year about campus safety and where I articulated you know, my views on us partnering with law enforcement to ensure that the environment, um, uh, environments where our students operate um, you know, uh, is safe. Um, you see, the thing is, uh, crime and crime go hand in hand. And if we want to deal with this crime situation outside of our campuses, we need to make sure that the crime is taken care of. And we've got the so-called urban warriors that help in cleaning, you know, the surroundings, you know, of our campuses, and we're going to build on that. That students can come and learn and enjoy their time, you know, on and off campus. Thanks very much, Prof.
and uh, that concludes our interview. Best yeah. wishes for yeah. your career. Yeah, thank you so much and thanks for having me. Thank you. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.